Mick Schumacher came last. Wow. <laughs> it's just a sign of things to come. Hey, if you haven't watched this channel before, it's Rob Guilty, Cape Town Spurs. And it's all about fun, it's all about cars. Let's get to it, let's chat about this, guys. So yeah, Formula One started, Bahrain went, exciting race, but Mick Schumacher effectively came last. Yes, I know there were some DNFs behind him and what have you, but on track, he effectively came last. Is this a sign of things to come? Uh, he's uh, got his reservations about how he feels about this with regards to, you know, the way his dad started out and all the rest of it, but yeah, no, it's... Uh, it's a bad start. Um, he did beat his teammate. His teammate was all over the track, spinning off at every corner. <laughs> but um, look, at the end of the day, I think with this situation, I think it's got a lot to do with the car. Haas said they're not doing anything to the car this year. And it's just kind of going to be one of those years because the rule changes are coming in. So it would appear to me that the car is very much last year's car. Nothing has been done to it, and the chances of it doing anything on the track are actually quite remote. Hey, it's coffee with Rob, so let's have some coffee, eh? <laughs> mm. So all I can say is, um, yeah, there's a good chance he's going to come last quite a lot in the future. And I don't think it's going to get that much better. Looks like he's going to keep on coming last. <laughs> Not much going on. The only person who finished in front of him was Sebastian Vettel, who had a terrible race to say the least as well. Um, on track, that is, you know. And um, you know, if, if if the on track scenario is going to be that, I think Mick Schumacher's best thing to do this year is effectively to beat his teammate. And if he can keep on beating his teammate, that might show some kind of progress and uh, perhaps try and beat him by quite a lot. Let's say. The thing with with the sons of fathers, it's always, you've got to live up to the, the great dad from the sport, whichever sport it might be. I mean, there was the Damon Hills and there's, there's, uh, there's quite a few others, there's football names and all the rest of it that I could come up with where, where the son comes in and everyone's expecting a lot from the name, but it's never, you know, a, a natural talent, the talent comes from within and uh, it's who you are. It just is, you know, it doesn't mean that your son is going to be that same person or your brother or whatever. I mean, the Schumachers are a perfect example of that, where you had Michael Schumacher and you had Ralph Schumacher, Michael outpacing him by far, you know. And uh, it might be the same scenario with his son. Look at the Senna scenario, you know, Bruno Senna came in. Um, okay, it was a nephew, whatever, but still, never going to live up to that name. That's a hell of a name to live up to, so, yeah, all I can say is don't expect fireworks, don't expect it to blow up. The Oak has done well, he did extremely well in Formula 2. Um, will he be his dad? Always difficult to say and it's always difficult to live up to. Let's give him all the support we can. <laughs> Let's see where we can come out. Um, but I think there are some drivers on, on the grid that are, are probably at the moment much more interesting to look at. Uh, for example, Lando Norris, George Russell, Carlos Sainz has always been good. Um, you know, I'm worrying about Leclerc, he's supposed to be good, but he's sitting with a difficult situation at the moment. And um, yeah, there's, there's a couple of interesting drivers. Look at the little Japanese driver that's come in, fantastic stuff. I mean, the Oak was like amazing on his debut. Let's hope it stays that way. So you get drivers like that that can just get out there and do it. Um, I do think uh, Mick Schumacher is probably in the wrong car. It would have been nice to have seen him maybe in the Alpha or something like that. But hey, it is what it is. And um, he is where he is. So let's see how it goes for the rest of the season. I mean, what's going to happen? Is this, the, is this the sign of things to come? Or will he come good? Let's hope he comes good, let's hope it changes, let's hope he gets out there and does the job. Oh, it's his first race, his first time out there, but he's not the only one who's a rookie, there's a couple of others. So, uh, should be interesting. Guys, thanks for watching, it's Rob Guilty, till next time. And don't forget, like, comment and subscribe.
and go and visit the shop. Cheers. Thank you.